Okay, so we're going to discuss simplification of a force and couple system. So you can reduce a system of forces and couple moments to a simpler form by replacing it with an equivalent system. consisting of a single resultant force acting at a specific point and a resultant couple moment. So we're going to reduce the system of forces and couple moments to a simpler form by replacing it with an equivalent system consisting of a single resultant force acting at a specific point and a resultant couple moment. Okay, so right here, you can see that there is a force acting at F. And now if we were to add in force F and negative F right at point B, this force, negative F and F, um, would be a couple, but they don't produce a moment since they're in um, the same line of action. So they cancel automatically, and you're just left with a force at point B. So that's the basic gist of what we're doing. So in this example, we've got a force. At the hand, we add a negative F and a positive F. And now you have a couple, the negative F and F. So those forces cancel, but you have to take into account the moment that they produce. And the moment they produce is going to be F multiplied by the distance between them D. So you can replace this entire system with that force that takes into account um, this force and then the moment of FD. And this couple moment is a free vector so it can act anywhere. And so we've gone from this to an equivalent force and couple moment. So basically in this we're going to find our resultant force, just like we've been doing, which is the sum of the forces. And then we can find our resultant moment, about point O, by getting the sum of the moments about point O. So these are all of your forces. So um, your moment produced by your force about point O. And then you also have to add the couple moments, which are free vectors. So it doesn't matter that they're about point O, but that's how you find your entire resultant moment.